Hello everybody, this is Robin Taylor from Taylor Freelance and we're going to talk today about the HK45 Plus 3 and how to put it together. Here we have an HK45 bag, HK45 Plus 3, 15 rounds of ammo. I'm just going to quickly go through this guy, taking it directly out of the package to answer a couple of questions about how they work. So taking the screws out takes a little bit because we're using anti-vibration screws and we're dragging on the nylon in order to get those out. Take the screw out. Take that off. Setting aside the internal parts because we're not going to be using those. Factory spring, factory follow. -up. On the flatter floor, floor plates, like the plus three here, it's actually easier to squish the spring up inside the magazine with your thumb than it is to try and do the two two part version, which you've seen in other videos of ours. So there we are on the magazine. And we'll tighten up the screws. Bringing in a Glock magazine loader for the Glock 21, just because they don't make one that I know of, VHK. Maybe they do, they look silly for that. Two, three, four, nine, ten. Okay, so that's the factory capacity. Now we'll start adding bullets. Eleven. Oh, and there's the common problem, and there's the common fix. Twelve. And the 13th one's, one's always a little bit tight. I like to make sure that they're in there enough to have so I have some squish. And I'll work that a little bit with my hands because we don't want to set ourselves up for a first round malfunction by having that be too tight. HK45 Plus 3 by Taylor Freelance. Hello again. If you watched our video from a few minutes ago, we, shot, we were just doing the HK45 Plus 3 base pad, like this guy. Um, and I wanted to show you a little bit about how to make sure that your HK45 base pad is going to take all three rounds. When the factory, when the follower comes from the factory, it's very square, very square corner. And what we, what sometimes happens is that, I'm going to move in close to the camera and hopefully you can see it, is that on the way down into the, into the base pad, the follower catches in this corner right here. That's because this is a round surface and we can't, with a milling machine, it's very difficult to make a square corner inside of this surface. So we're looking for right there is where our problem happens. When that problem happens, the easiest fix is just to round the corner off. You'll notice that, this, that these two followers are not quite square on the bottom, that I've actually rounded off the left-hand corner just a tiny bit. And all I'm doing is making a left, enough space enough of a bevel there so that it will slide past that edge on the way down into the base pad. It's surprising with the HK. You don't have to gain, you don't have to put a lot of extra length onto the HK base pad to get quite a, quite a gain in magazine capacity. And that's certainly what we see here with the HK plus three. 